Hello everyone, today I am going to explain about two important terminologies of biology which you can find in your biology topic of first year. Okay, so the two, two terms is Billy, Rubin and Billy Vardin. What is the meaning of these two terms or what is the function of these two terms? Billy, Rubin and Billy Vardin are the two pigments, are the two components. So, we all know about it, our blood, our blood is red. So how the color of the blood is red only because of the presence of one pigment or one protein that is called hemoglobin. Only because of the presence of hemoglobin the color of our blood is red. So inside the blood that is called RBC the color of the RBC is red and it is responsible only because of the presence of responsible pigment that is called hemoglobin. Now if we divide this term hemoglobin then we you can easily find that one is heme, another is globin. Globin is a protein pigment, and from this heme, bilirubin is produced. By the help of heme oxygenase enzyme, we can find the bilirubin. Then bilirubin is converted into bilirubin by the help of an enzyme bilirubin reductase. Now. We, we are easily finding this that, that how this bilirubin is produced from the bilirubin by the help of bilirubin reductase. Now this bilirubin, the color of the bilirubin is yellowish color. Okay. Now this bilirubin is converted into or now this bilirubin is transported into the liver. Then from the liver it is transported into the duodenum part in the small intestine. From the small intestine, this bilirubin is transported into the our large intestine. Then in this point, in the large intestinal part, this bilirubin is divided into two parts. One is urebilinogen and number two is stercobilinogen. And few amounts of stercobilinogen of bilirubin is transported into the last part of our large intestine. And in the last part of the of our large intestine, the fecal matters, the feces are present. And this stercobilinogen, per, few amounts of stercobilinogen are transported into the last part of the of our large intestine, and our feces are becoming yellowish in color. So, our the color of the feces are only yellow only because of the presence of bilirubin part that is stercobilinogen. So, this is all about the bilirubin and bilirubin. Thank you, everyone. See you in the next video. There will be important question will be arises about bilirubin and bilirubin that where these bilirubin and bilirubin are present. So simply the answer is the maximum amount of bilirubin and bilirubin are present in the bile juice. Okay, these are bile pigments and bile juice or bile pigments are produced from where the liver. So simply this bilirubin is produced from the heme part that is from the hemoglobin we are dividing this hemoglobin into heme and globin from the heme part it is from the heme we can found the bilirubin by the help of heme oxygenase enzyme this bilirubin is bilirubin is converted into bilirubin by the help of bilirubin reductase then this bilirubin is transported or converted into the liver from the liver it goes to the duodenum part from the duodenum that is in the small intestine from the small intestine it goes to the large intestine then in the large intestine this bilirubin is divided into two parts urobilinogen and stercobilinogen few amounts of stercobilinogens are transported into the last part of our large intestine okay and there the fecal matters are pre present feces are present and combination of fecal matter with the stercobilinogen it becomes yellowish in color that that is the simple meaning okay thank you everyone